Baradar friendly I and welcome to Time to Thrive. It's really great to see you all again today, isn't it, Blue? It sure is. So today's question to check in is, if you were a vehicle, what kind of vehicle would you be? What would you be, Blue? Well, I'd be a steam train. I love that whistly sound the way it may make and the way they chug along the tracks in their, to their destination. That's how I'm feeling today. Wow, thanks for sharing that, Blue. And I guess I would be a tractor because they're not very fast, but they get the job done. So, should we find out what we got to do today then, Blue? Sure thing, thing. let's find out. Today, we are going to be making a, um, a windsock, a rainbow windsock out of a, a tube. We have the hula hoop challenge and we're also going to be listening to a really awesome story. Does that sound okay, Blue? It sure does. Well, let's get on with it then. To make your rainbow windsock, you will need a tube. Scissors, ask an adult for help if you need it. Tissue paper or coloured paper. Glue or sellotape. String. A piece of paper and a pen. Some felt pens or some paints. Begin by colouring in your tube. On your piece of paper, draw a cloud. Give it a smiley face. Cut out your cloud. Cut out some thin strips of tissue paper. Next, glue or sellotape your thin strips of tissue paper to the bottom of your tube. Apply glue to the back of your cloud pitcher and stick it on your tube. Make two holes in the top of your tube and attach a thread of string. Now it's ready to display. Well Blue, it's day five of the Hula Hoop Challenge. Are you ready to find out how I get on? I can't wait to see if you've improved at all, Miss Nick. Let's watch it. Wow, Blue! I know! I am starting to improve at the Hula Hoop Challenge! Do you know what? I didn't think I would. I didn't think I would improve at all. What did you think, Blue? Well, Miss Nick, I always had faith that with a lot of practice, some perseverance and bucketfuls of resilience, you would get better. Let's see if you can keep on improving now. Oh yes, that's definitely encouraged me to keep at it, Blue. Today's story is called How Are You Peeling Food With Moods? And it's written by Saxton Freeman and Juice Alphas. I really love this book. The pictures are absolutely brilliant. It's a wonderful book that explores feelings and emotions. Let's have a listen. How are you feeling? Happy? Sad, feeling blue, feeling bad. Can a gentle, smiling friend try to cheer you up again? When you have to wait because someone is late, are you bored, jumpy, worried, grumpy? Excited as the minutes pass? Now your friend is here at last. How are you when friends drop by with someone new, a little shy? Don't belong, not for long. Feel secure or not so sure. Amused, confused, frustrated, surprised. Try these feelings out for size. How are you feeling? When you're attacked, do you react? 
How do you feel when someone is mean, timid, bold or in between? When you're angry, do you pout, whine, cry, scream or shout? Feeling sorry and ashamed or embarrassed to be blamed? Jealous? Disappointed too, when you are hurt, who comforts you? So many smiles, can you decide who's feeling safe, who's feeling pride? Wired, tired, need a kiss, do you know anyone like this? Do you let your feelings show? Who do you love? How do they know? When how you feel is understood, you have a friend and that feels good. How are you feeling? Well, Blue, that's all we've got time for today, I'm afraid. But don't be sad, we'll be back again tomorrow. OK, and before we go, we've got a would, uh, a would you rather question to ask everybody as well, haven't we? We sure have. So today's question is, would you rather have the ears of a bunny rabbit or the tail of a horse? Hmm. Have a think about that. That's a tricky one, isn't it? What would you be, Blue? I'd have the tail of a horse. I'd swish my beautiful blue ho ho tail around all day long. I would love to have a lovely horse tail. Would you really? Fantastic. That's great to know. Okay, so we'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care, everybody.